What really is CAR T cell therapy? How does CAR T cell therapy work? What exactly is the genetic modification of cells? How is then your body being used to trick and kill those cancer cells which are very slowly destroying your body? Why is this treatment offering so much hope to patients? This report explains. Imagine a situation when you or your loved one is diagnosed with cancer. Now imagine when we tell you that a cure, that's right, a cure is possible, a complete cure for cancer. Enter CAR T cell therapy. This is the latest medical breakthrough that is set to change around things in India like it has outside of India. CAR T cell therapy is now indigenously made, made in India and the cost of it is down to 40 lakh rupees from what it costs abroad, 4 crore rupees. Whenever we think of cancer therapy, we think of chemotherapy or we think of radiation or surgery. Now with advanced research around cancer, new therapies have revolutionized the modes of treatment for cancer patients. One such therapy is known as CAR T-cell therapy. So what really is CAR T-cell therapy? Well, it is a form of immunotherapy which involves using the patient's own immune cells to fight cancer. In CAR T-cell therapy, the patient's T-cells are genetically engineered to fight cancer cells. T-cells, known as the backbone of the CAR T-therapy, are a type of white blood cells that help the body fight infection. So how does CAR T-cell therapy really work? Now, T-cells are extracted from a patient's body. They are modified in a lab to express a specific protein known as chimeric antigen receptor or CAR on their surface. These CAR proteins are reintroduced into the body which bind the specific proteins or antigens on the surface of the cancer cells. Essentially, CAR proteins help the T-cells in recognizing and attacking cancer cells. These CAR proteins are synthetic molecules, which experts say don't exist naturally. Once introduced into the body, the CAR molecules will continue to multiply and attack cancer cells. How exactly has CAR T-cell revolutionized cancer therapy? The CAR T-cell has a new arm against cancers and that too a specified type of blood cancers called lymphoma, multiple myeloma and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. There have been fewer effective treatments for patients who cancers return or relapse after chemotherapy or a stem cell transplant. In 2017, however, US's Food and Drug Administration approved the first CAR T cell therapy for children afflicted with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. In subsequent trials in children treated with CAR therapy, over 60% of the children had survived five years after the therapy without their cancer relapsing. CAR T-cell therapy has shown the ability to eradicate advanced leukemias and lymphomas, cancers that affect the blood cells and the immune system. We are all CAR T-cell is your own T-cells which has been armed, which has been propelled to go and kill the cancer cells like a precision oncology. And that's where the future is moving from a pan bomb to IV therapies, to small molecules, to immunotherapies, where your own body system is being strengthened to kill cancer cells. So what is the therapy like for patients? Now CAR T cell therapy is usually recommended for patients when chemotherapy has not been effective and the cancer has relapsed or the patient isn't responding to initial treatment. The process of extracting T-cells is painless, like donating blood, but can take several hours. Now, after T-cell extraction, patient will receive salvage chemotherapy to bring the disease under control. The patients remain in the hospital for several weeks while the T-cells are genetically modified, after which they are infused in the patient's blood. What then are the current limitations of CAR T therapy? Effective CAR T cell therapy faces a few challenges, which include severe life threatening toxicities, limited efficacy against solid tumors, antigen escape, which is failure to recognize pathogens like cancer cells, failure of CAR T cells to be trafficked to the target site, and limited tumor infiltration. Sometimes the host and the tumor micro environment can alter CAR T cell function. Now, in spite of the fact that the cost has come down in India to a great deal, up to 40 lakh rupees, as opposed to what Indians are paying outside of India, which is almost 5 crore rupees, this treatment continues to be still very expensive. Now, the entire treatment from the therapy to the hospital stay could cost a lot, essentially. 
Additionally, since this is a fairly recent treatment and a growing and evolving field, constant efforts are needed to educate the workforce as well in this field. AI could help predict patient response to therapy based on individual characteristics, which could further help in engineering personalized treatment strategies. AI could help in coming up with new car designs and help predict their efficacy as well.